1932 S. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, arguably no other issue in the Washington Quarter series is more iconic than the 1932 S. Yes, the 1932 D is more challenging in high grades, but this San Francisco Quarter claims the lowest mintage in the set, 408,000 coins, and is nearly as rare in upper mint state levels as its Denver counterpart. The interiors of this old gem remain frosty and brilliant, while speckled iridescence occurs peripherally. Razor sharp detail on Washington's curls and the eagle's breast. It was sold for $34,800.1965 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded in mint state 65 by NGC. Clad dimes typically weigh 2.27 grams. Although 1,965 dated dimes are clad, 1,964 dated dimes in 90% silver alloy were struck in great numbers during 1965, perhaps to use up leftover stock, or to deter hoarding. This lustrous, untoned, and sharply struck wrong planchet error has only trivial surface imperfections. It was sold for $9,987.50. 1957 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. According to NGC, this is yet another issue that is quite common at the MS 65 66 RD level, which, at one time, was considered quite suitable by advanced collectors. Only the more recent registry competition has highlighted the scarcity of pieces grading MS 67 RD. This plus designated gem ended up selling for $2,650. 1920 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Plus Red by PCGS. 1920 D. Lincoln Cent in MS 65 Plus Red condition. According to Heritage Auctions, despite a substantial mintage of more than 49 million pieces, the 1920 D. Lincoln Cent is a scarce issue at the MS 65 grade level, and finer coins are prime condition rarities. This plus graded gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout. It was sold for $2,504.88 with buyer's fee. 1939 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR68 by NGC. According to NGC, proof sales steadily grew from year to year, and the net mintage for this issue was 8,750 pieces. These were selected from the 11,902 struck, many of which were unfit and the traditional mintage figure also includes coins destroyed during assays. Four dies each of the obverse and reverse were employed. As in other years, the net mintage of proof quarter dollars determines the number of complete proof sets possible, since this denomination was the one least often ordered. The number of gem survivors rose proportionately with the increasing sales, and this is the first modern proof quarter for which a generous population of PF67 coins exists. This PR68 gem was bargained for $2,000. 1977 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. PR70 is highs achievable grade for a proof coin and indicates that it is absolutely perfect coin with immaculate preservation and striking level and outstanding eye appeal. PCGS reports overall 70 proof cents with Deep Cameo designation in this high-end grade. This specimen was sold for $1,293.75 with buyer's fee. 1949s Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 plus full bands by PCGS. One of the pivotal dates in the series, the 1949s Roosevelt Dime ranks second in scarcity only to the Philadelphia Mint's 1955 production of 12,450,181 pieces. Despite a minting of 13,510,000 pieces, this coin cannot be deemed truly rare. Nevertheless, it stands out as one of the more captivating pieces in the series and carries a premium compared to the other, more frequently encountered, years. This plus designated specimen fetched a sum of $1,020 on February 6, 2024. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.